Hello YouTube, this is Marauders here and this is a USB 2.0 HDMI capture device. Now this is essentially like the Elgato Cam Link because it only has a HDMI input and there's no output so you cannot monitor the HDMI HDMI signal lag like, like free. Uh, but basically it can turn any HDMI device into a webcam. Now, the interesting thing here is that normally I don't trust this kind of things because this is ridiculously cheap when you compare it to an Elgato cam link. This thing is only, this was, I got this for about 50 ringgit Malaysia. That's about 10 to about, I guess, okay, I'll just say it's 15 US dollars. So this is ridiculous ridiculously cheap when you compare it to a cam link and I didn't expect it to work properly I mean uh, and it, it does su it surprises me this thing actually works pretty well considering the price it's just that you just you just need to do some settings in your OBS to do when you're doing capturing but other than that it will work pretty well uh, okay so that's let me just show you how to use it in OBS Okay, so here I have my OBS and let's go at the video capture card. So we're going to go video capture devices. We're going to say cheap HDMI video. And then the device will show up as something called HDMI video. And we're just going to leave everything at default if we want to, but generally what you want to do is you want of course 1080p because that is uh that's the maximum the thing can do and usually you want that to for the for the quality for the resolution and the detail the highest frame rate is 30 fps at 1080 and i don't know how well this thing can do scaling so you might want to set your camera to so i have another camera so I have this thing connected to another camera right now. You can see, okay. Uh, so you want to you want to set that camera to uh, 1080p out as well. And if we look at the format, it is basically using MJPEG. So because it's using MJPEG, it is it's actually doing some onboard uh, hardware encoding. That's why it can get the get the video feed out at even at 30 frames per second even though it's USB 2.0 but if you look properly you can see that there is a delay okay there's like a half a second delay so the 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 frontal view is uh is more of a real time feed and uh, this actual view has a delay on it okay so the main thing here is that the reason you, because there's this delay you can't use this to play games because obviously such a with such a big delay i think it's about half a second you can't play games on this thing but of course to use it as a cam link to show your to show your video your face cam that's fine okay but uh, there's just one other little issue here so first of all you can notice that even though i'm talking the HDMI video doesn't have, there's no spike on the audio indicator because this is one of those devices where the video and audio is coming on two different devices. So if you want the audio feed from your HDMI device, you have to add another, an, an audio input device. And then we're gonna select this digital audio interface okay okay so now you can see we are getting the audio from the camera okay so this is definitely on the camera itself then there is yet another little problem which is that there is actually a delay on that on the audio stream because remember i said the video is being compressed into mjpeg before it's sent to the computer uh, so they can go through USB 2 but uh, the audio 
audio is because it's smaller, it's faster, so it doesn't need to be a compressed, so it can, it can reach your computer faster. Uh, I'll just show a very simple example. We're going to start recording. Okay. Now let's go play back that recording. We're going to start recording. Okay. Okay, so you can see that there was a slight delay there when, when it was clapping because, again, like I said, it's not synced. The audio is basically faster than the video feed. So what we want to do is if we want the audio and video to sync up, we want to introduce a delay into the audio feed as well. So what we want to do is you click on the gear for your HDMI audio. We're going to go to advanced audio properties, find the cheap HDMI audio section, and we are going to add a, a sync offset delay. What I've noticed is that it's about half a second. It might or might not be for, okay, that's not even half a second. That's a quarter of a second. Might work for you. It you can go keep trying it until you find a good good option to me 250 seems to be pretty good so okay i'm gonna start recording now again and let's go look at the uh, results and yeah i've been doing a, quite a lot of other testing And let's go look at the... Uh... Okay, so now uh, the audio and video is more or less synced. It, it doesn't look that awkward having a delay between, uh, between the, the video image and the sound. So this is the same thing if you want to use this uh, USB capture as to bring in the video. And then you want an alternate mic as a source. So like maybe you have another Yeti mic or other USB microphone instead of using the mic on the camera. So you would add it, you would be adding it as another audio source. If you want it to sync up with the video, with the video from this video capture card. So you have to delay it so that it can be synced. So in summary, this cheap HDMI capture card well it it works the, the, the that's the interesting thing about it this thing works if if all you wanted to do was I just want to have the cheapest way of bringing in some HDMI video for recording purposes that I don't need I don't need to see it in real time for and I can I, I can adjust the audio to make it synchronize with the video for my purpose. Yeah, it works. It it I, it for the price you're paying for it. I am really surprised at how well it works. Seriously, this is this is this was a really big surprise to see how well it actually works. This could for a lot of people who cannot afford an Elgato cam link and they just want to get but they have cameras lying around that have HDMI outs and well although every other manufacturers manufacturers are starting to make USB webcam solutions for their cameras but they might still take a while so this might still turn out to be the best uh, solution you have of bringing in a HDMI video input into your computer uh, but what I didn't show you in the in the video is that this thing can be a bit finicky which is like sometimes you can just open OBS and it doesn't show up and it just doesn't want to work so you either have to pull out the pull it out from the USB port and plug it back in again or you might just want to restart your computer again just to get it to just to be able to see the signal yeah that that sort of thing again if you want for the price you're paying it's a mild inconvenience if budget was your was your problem yeah this is the answer to it 
because works and it's it's relatively cheap compared to the alternative solution okay i'm not going to tell you where to buy this because yeah this is basically just some i don't know it's a very typical the uh, china made bulk product so i can't even i can't i can't give you the name okay because everyone is just going to rebrand it what you do at with stuff like this is you go to aliexpress you go to lazada you go to all your drop shipping websites you do a search for USB HDMI capture and you look for one that looks exactly like this in the picture. And if they send you something that looks exactly like this, it's most likely the same thing. Yeah, it's not a good solution, but you know, that's how certain things are. Okay, so this is Marauders. I will see you all in the next video.